Hey everyone and welcome back to another shoal finding adventure. Yes, I am starting on this side of the lighthouse today. The, uh, the tide is going down a bit quicker than I realized. So I thought, well, better get straight to the rock pools. Anyway, couldn't walk past this guy on uh, the little bit of sand that does wash up here. Got myself a little flat sand snail. As for the rock pools, guys, it's not too windy today, but the waves out there are very choppy with lots of whitewash. I think I'll be seeing a lot of broken ones, but you know what? Fingers crossed, we'll find some treasures. Oh, another sandy find, working my way up to the rock pools. Got myself a little Jackson's Venus. I don't usually get too excited over Venus shells, but this is one of the few that I really do like. There we go. Just got some nice textures and patterns on him. Oop, don't drop him. <laughs> oh, right between the rocks here, the one that has caught my eye. Yeah? Oh, yeah, it's empty. I'm sorry, that might have been a bit off camera. It's a lovely big Bernard's auger. Very nice. Missing a bit of his tip if I had to be super critical, but very good otherwise. Also, I think I want this guy too. Hello. It is just a telescoped dove shell. Oh my goodness. No way. Is that what I think it is? I mean, it is. What's this doing here? Oh, it's actually whole. I mean, yes, the tip is missing, but oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I'm very excited. I only find these here after a storm. I mean, we've had storms on and off here for like the past, like, I don't know. There's been like 3 million lightning strikes, if that tells you anything. Oh my goodness, he's still got his periostricum, that kind of greenish layer right there. This is an Australian rock whelk. It's a type of triton shell. Very big shame about that tip, but oh my goodness, he's got a lovely black color. They're, um, they're found more so to the south, so finding one as north as Queensland, that where I am here, is very unusual. Another type of triton shell, although I do call it a trumpet. Yeah, this guy. I mean, I saw it kind of swirl with sand in there. I don't think there's a crab in this one. It is just a lovely Spangler's trumpet. Again, it does have his outer layer on it. You can't really see it, but these guys go through a bleach bath to get rid of the uh, last bits of fuzzy stuff on them. Oh, it's just a bonnet. Hello. Yeah, actually, I thought that was going to be terrible and broken on top, but no, he doesn't have any like pittings with age. There is just a giant black rock in there, by the way. He's not cracked. He's not broken. He's maybe lost some of his like fancy colors, but his spots are still there. This guy is the checker bo checkered bonnet. Also uh, more commonly probably called the checkerboard bonnet. Well, my goodness, I just picked up this checkered bonnet, was about to walk away, look down to watch my step. Hello. How long has this been here? Oh my goodness, like I saw the tip of it. And I thought, wow, that tip looks good. It looks like it's not broken. The rest of it, guys, he is a nice size. He's got lovely patterns on him. Sometimes I find these guys and they have like the worst like discoloration on them and their patterns are gone. Oh my God, he's already gonna be the favorite. I can tell already. Uh, this guy is of course a magnificent volute. Wow, I didn't actually notice that. He has a giant heeled break right there. That is incredible. The snail just kept on going on after living through whatever that was. I gotta tell you guys, I'm pretty shocked that I'm actually having luck with the big shells because I did not have any luck the last time I came. My goodness, we've got ourselves a very large Spangler's trumpet. There is something live stuck to him. He is a live, uh, what do you call him? A, a kelp shell or something to that effect. Anyway, we'll just leave him down. Ooh. Oh, I'm very sorry. This Spangler's trumpet has the operculum inside. That means the original snail is still using this shell. Uh, we don't take live shells. I'm going to put them back maybe maybe a bit more under this rock. I think he got flipped over when he didn't want to be. There we go. That's better. Or maybe maybe this one doesn't have the operculum in there. Hello. We have, yeah, it just looks like sand in there. Let me shake it out. There we go. He's a lovely empty one. Actually, I think I like the shape of this one even better. I mean, he's smaller, but he's longer. Anyway, it is another beautiful Spangler's trumpet. I just jumped down to put my uh, Spangler's trumpet away. This one was here. My goodness, that is beautiful. It is a lovely Corica cowrie. These guys are usually like green with brown speckling on top. So he has worn away like, okay, so that's like the, the proper side of him there. He has worn away to show the lovely blue stripes underneath. My goodness, so this area was actually covered in sea foam until very recently. And the tide has been up until like literally two days ago. So all the good shells have just probably been waiting here for days until someone's found them. Oh my goodness, I'm lucky today. We're in the mystery cave of doom. It's mostly broken things, but uh, oh yeah. Alrighty, got myself another checkered bonnet. Very nice. Bit black around the uh, outside there from uh, oxidize, oxidization. Anyway, what I wanted to get first was actually this guy gleaming at me down there. Oh, stretch, it's all furry. Oh, don't touch the sides. <laughs> okay, that looks like a very nice snakehead calorie. Nice and dark on top, actually. There, there we go, he's another keeper. 
There's a very shiny, graceful Calorie right there. We'll just take him, I think. Along with a snakehead I picked up off screen. Yes, I am starting to pick up snakeheads off screen. Anyway, got myself a couple of lovely calories. Wow, it seems like the recent storms have not been kind to the Spangler's trumpets. There we go, there's another one. But uh, what caught my eye wasn't the broken bonnet, it's this one. Ooh, he's actually kind of nice. Yeah, it's just a big old bladder moon snail. They're always a cream color and kind of like a, a wider shell from this beach. A bit different than the uh, mud flats of Harvey Bay. Yeah, this guy just noticed. Oh, there's an eroded carry behind him. Is he any good? Oh, oh. Okay, he's actually pretty shiny. He's kind of a little one too. I wasn't expecting it. And yes, another off-camera snakehead. What I originally saw was this one. He is very nice. This guy is a lovely blue cowrie. Common name is the yellow-toothed cowrie or literally the green cowrie. I don't think he looks green enough to be called the green cowrie. But anyway, there we go. A couple more cowries. And why not? Let's grab a cone while we're down here too. Yeah, little crowned cone. Give it to me. There it is. Uh -huh. Just a couple of pebbles in there. I don't see the creature. It's actually a very nice pink color. I swear to you guys, I'm not placing shells here. They're just very conveniently here because no one's been able to pick them up lately with the conditions. Anyway, this is beautiful. He feels nice. It is a lovely cat carry with all of his speckles on top. Also, I do want to pick up this guy. Oh yeah, it's a very nice worm. Or oh, actually, he's pretty worn away, especially on that end, but it's a very nice worm cone. And is this one any good? Oh, oh, <laughs> nope. It is a bonnet shell. This one is the Japanese bonnet, I think. Oh, this is kind of a dicey spot. I think it's fine. I just got to get there before the wave comes. There we go. Yeah, wave. Uh, uh, up, 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 up. There we go. Wow, he's actually a nice one. <laughs> I am having a lot of luck today. I must be wearing my lucky pants, um, which, you know, is not a thing. Anyway, got myself a little orange droop right here. And also, wow, just uh, just in some of the rock pools, lots of broken shells, but these uh, beautiful snakeheads are gloriously intact. Nice and shiny and dark too, so I'll be taking them with me. Oh, that is just sitting there. That is, oh, it has little pippy things on top of it. These guys usually float to the high tide line. Uh, to come to shore. Anyway, you know what? I'm just gonna chuck this one back in. He's got little friends on him. It is low tide and there is like no one here. It's so weird. Anyway, I just spotted this guy. I thought he was a rock for a second. There we go. My goodness, he is old. He has lost a lot of his deep orange color. It is the carnelian cowrie, also called the cherry cowrie. I am having all the luck today. I mean, look at this, we're at low tide. It's a hot sunny uh, summer's day and there's no one here. <laughs> The shells are mine. Right before the water came in, was there a cowrie gleaming? It is gleaming. I wasn't sure if it'd be a good one or a bad one. Oh, it's very nice looking. Oh, it's empty. I thought for sure that I'd pick that up, turn it over, and there'd still be a little snail inside. Anyway, oh my God, you know how much I love eroded cowries. This is a very nice eroded cowrie. My goodness. He feels very shiny. That's why he's very lovely. Also, his pattern is pretty cute. It's, you know, same, same, but different on, on all of these. Oh, I just turned around and saw this pop of color. Yep, I have not been finding the bivalves today, like at all. Here we go, got myself a beautiful scaly scallop. Is that a singular piece? That is gonna be the biggest piece of lace coral. Ooh, it is a singular piece. Gosh, I hope I don't like knock it and destroy that. Oh my good golly goodness. This has got to be, let me just stand up. This has got to be the biggest singular piece of lace coral I've ever found. That's huge. It's also a lot flatter than I thought it would be. It doesn't like bush out into like a circle. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, just a, just kind of flat is what I want to say. Wow, it's really pretty. I think that's going to bleach up very nicely. It'll probably turn like a nice lighter color, like a nice light cream or a pink. It's going to be very, very beautiful. Oh, forgive that wind, everyone. Look at him down there. Do we think he's a live one? Oh, he's whole. He is. Ooh, I thought for sure I would pull that and he would like have a snail in there because look at this guy. He is like extremely fresh. I say that because he's still got all of his beautiful periostricum on him. I'm sorry, I'll get out of that flashing light. He's still got all of that lovely, lovely layers of hair on him. He looks lovely on the inside too. Look at all those colors and those whites. Anyway, it is a giant hairy triton. My goodness, just double checking for any kind of creature. I don't see one in there. That is probably another favorite today. My goodness, that's gonna turn out very nice in a bleach bath. 
was just trying to kick this over because I thought it was a broken Arabian and I just, just wanted to check it. Um, and then I kicked it over and I'm like, oh, wait a second. It's actually a juvenile Arabian. It's not broken except for a little bit on its lip there. I was thinking to myself, wow, I pretty much found one of every large shell here, save for an Arabian cowrie. I mean, this counts. He's just a juvenile one, but yep, yeah, very, very cute. He looks more like an olive shell when he's like this. Well, okay, without a doubt, this one must be alive. Yes. Yes, Snail Boy is still in there. He doesn't want to let go. So we're just going to let him go about his snaily business. Mm, do I want it? I, I never have any idea what to do with these after I take them home. Um, It's just a sea bean. It's a type of drifting tree seed that just washes up here from time to time. Oh, okay. That one's the best one I've seen so far. There we go. Another beautiful ram's horn squid shell. My goodness, that is nice. Actually, this is like the nicest one. I don't even, even know if I need to show the other ones anymore. So here are the shell finds for today and if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. Well, the sun just <laughs> went behind a cloud so we can't see them all in their full glory anymore. But my goodness, it was such a good day in the rock pools, in the tide pools for so many big shells. I was not expecting this. Oh, the sun just came back out. I wasn't expecting this because last time I was here like five days ago, it was all like high tides and minis on the sand. So yeah, it's just been like a wonderful 80 today my goodness of course enough rambling from me it's time to talk about a favorite and if you do have a favorite as well please let me know down in the comments i actually have a lot of shells that i like today but you know what we're going to give some special mentions that you know they, they're pretty cool but they're not my favorites first up is this one the beautifully darkly colored australian rock whelk a type of triton shell missing his tip otherwise i dare say he would have been my favorite because he's looking pretty good otherwise I really love this absolutely massive piece of lace coral. Just never had one that large. I'll have to be super careful with it so I don't break it. I also, I mean, my goodness, I got, I got lots of favorites. I like this Korika Kauri. I think he's pretty fun. I don't find terribly many of them, so I think he's cool. Really like this eroded cowrie because, you know, I always love the eroded cowries. I like this little cat cowrie. I like this, I like this snakehead cowrie. Guys, usually when you find cowries, they're not like super shiny. They're kind of like... Okay, that one's pretty good, but they kind of get like start to get white pretty quickly like this Arabian. So finding like so many nice ones today is very, very exciting. But on to my favorites now. Oh my goodness, I've got two favorites and they are big ones for such a big day. My first favorite is this really, really cool giant hairy triton with all of his or most of his periostracum on it. You can see where the hair has come, uh, come off right there, but the rest of it looks, you know, mostly covered except for on that tip there. This hair is protecting the shell underneath, guys. It's going to look so good in a ble after a bleach bath because all that beautiful seashell underneath has not been damaged because the hair on top is you know stopping that from happening very good thank you hair but the top favorite today is of course this beautiful i mean i don't know if it's of course it is this beautiful magnificent volley with the uh with the giant healed crack right there very cool again when i find these guys i don't usually have such a shiny appearance when they dry they sometimes dry looking like kind of white like that kind of a bit rougher but this one's very very nice so yep I was definitely the first one in the tide pools today so that was just oh good luck you know good luck for me wearing my lucky pants anyway that's it for this time everyone thank you so much for watching bye guys <laughs>